So I've been involved in Top Drift for the last two and a half years. I originally built my car without knowing that there was a drift community in Ontario. And then slowly but surely, by the time I finished my car, I knew the guy who organized this event, Blake Tricky. And uh, he's like, come out to one of the events and it's been kind of a snowball of bad decisions for two years. <laughs> Uh, for drifting, I just have this one car. We recently changed the body on it to uh, circumvent some rust. But now with this clean new shell, I've had this one for about a year. So on a good weekend, the tire consumption would be uh, maybe 10 sets, so 20 tires. And it's mostly dependent on like, the conditions, if it's raining or if it's nice and hot, and whether or not your car wants to work. So it's, in terms of all the other motorsports, this one's the most communal, and it's, it's not about who's better than someone else, it's not about who's faster, it's all about just having a good time, trying to get your car working, and just go have fun with the guys, or girls. Top Drift's pretty much like one big family, and you just go around, everyone helps each other out when their cars break or any problems arise, so it's mostly just a big community of like-minded people. There's a Facebook group with like maybe two or three thousand people on it, but usually there's about a, a little bit over 120 drivers per event. And then the bigger events, it gets close to like 200 drivers. So this weekend right now is actually like one of the smaller events, so it's really just almost unlimited track time. Uh, probably going really fast sideways. It's just something about it. Uh, I've been going for two years, and I've been drifting my first years this year. Uh, I love uh, being out with my friends and uh, being able to do a lot of things with my car that I wouldn't be able to do on the street. We just hang out afterwards, we go, it's like basically camping but uh, without having to uh, deal with uh, the inconveniences, I don't know, you just have a lot of fun and uh, it's as if you're going camping but just with your car too and you just do your stuff all day and then have a good time at night too. It's a whole weekend event, I came from Montreal. So it's a four hour drive, um, but it's absolutely worth it and uh, have great times, great memories and you get to do a bunch of things that really push your limits and uh, you learn new things like I'm building my car for the first time as well and uh, before I didn't really know my way around an engine but now I do it's, and changing tires is a definite requirement <laughs> and uh, yeah, learn a lot of stuff, it's a fun time. Basically, if you enjoy being on a roller coaster and you uh, like uh, having a lot of adrenaline rushes, then this is the place to come because uh, we, we also enjoy having people ride along with us and uh, we go pretty fast and most people have never been in a car sideways. They usually go in a straight line or on a track or something, but this is very different because uh, uh, the whole key is of uh, getting better is becoming uh, having more angle on the track as well uh, and as well as transitioning and it's a lot of different uh, feelings and sensations that you don't usually get when you're in a race car. Yeah, so I have two um, early model, uh, first gen Skylines, R32s. I got one with the original motor and one with a Corvette V8 in it. It's a lot of fun. One of them's highly modified, the other one's more of a street car, but it can drift, but this is the one I bring out. Uh, I went to an auction to buy a car for my business, saw one of these cars sitting there, got a good deal on it, and then we built it, built another one, built another one, and just fell in love with the sport and the community that we never stopped. Uh, the action, for sure the action. I love the community, I love having friend, fun with all my friends. Like being out on the track and getting the lines you want, killing tires, that's the funnest part. I tell them if they're ready for a sensory overload, come drifting, get in the passenger seat. Most of the guys here will let you come out with them. And if you've never been, it's so different than anything you expect. You're looking out uh, passenger windows instead of the windshield, the tire smoke everywhere, and it's such a great time. It's easy to convince people. No, not yet. Nothing too serious. Never rolled off a car. I had some incidents, broke parts, lost fenders, hoods, bumpers, doors, tires, ribs. Everything breaks, but the car t stays together pretty well. When we went to the drifting, it was so cool. So many people came out and I was surprised at how many tires they went through when they were going drifting and how they had a whole 
place set up for changing tires and at one point a tire caught on fire, which I caught on camera, which is pretty cool but also awesome that they had all these people right there ready to help put out the fire. They had so many safety measures in place, which was great. Well, they set me up, they gave me a helmet to use, they made me sign a waiver, and then I was all set. The guy helped me into the car, she showed me all the things inside the car, which was really cool, and then we started, we went out, we waited in line, and then they gave us the thumbs up and we went out onto the track. And it was really cool, I was filming him doing different changing gears and stuff, and. Every time he drifted, it was really invigorating, I'd have to say. I, I really enjoyed that. Well, I was expecting to be, it to be rougher, honestly, but when they're driving, they drive it so smoothly, and it, it's so cool how you just turn and you can look out the side window and you're going straight, <laughs> which was very funny, but really cool. My name's Ben Stacy, and I've been shooting uh, some of these episodes and uh, this was an exciting episode to shoot. The drifting was really cool, and I got an opportunity to jump in one of the cars and go for a ride. Sitting in the car, you're strapped in the three-point harness, and you feel nice and secure. Uh, there's like a roll bars around you, so you're, you're fine if you crash. I was really hoping you wouldn't crash. <laughs> but you're zipping along uh, like super fast. When you go into those corners and you're drifting, it's a weird feeling, it's not rough, it's, it's pretty smooth, uh, but the amount of smoke that comes off the tires is crazy, and it fills the cockpit of the car. So there's times where you're just holding your breath and waiting for the smoke to clear, because honestly, burning rubber does not smell that great. Uh, we did a total of four laps. After our second lap, we had the alarm go on the, uh, the console, and he said, oh yeah, the car is getting hot. Because obviously we were running like super high RPMs. Uh, he hit some buttons, I don't know, some stuff to cool it, but we did another full lap of uh, drifting, and then we did one sort of cool down lap and it came off. I was fortunate to be able to go in one of the cars with one of what they consider one of the better drivers on the track, so that made me a little bit more confident. Uh, we went out, I was just hanging on to uh, a little camera. We had strapped a camera to the guy's helmet as well. And, uh, we went out drifting. Now, it's pretty crazy because you start going into corners at a super high speed, way faster than you could possibly even make it around the corner. The only way to make it around the corner is to drift. Just this right here, just being able to chill, take my car out whenever I want to, have a run, come back, change tires, do it all over again. And of course, all the, all the great people. It's the atmosphere. I mean, they just welcome everyone. You're, you're not judged. You're almost allowed to do whatever the heck you want. But uh, there's rules, obviously. But, you know, it's just a chill vibe. <laughs>